there, there are a lot of other things that you know, we could, I don't have time to really go into in detail, but uh, I did want to mention another class of system which is increasingly common on the net, and that's sensor networks. Um, and I want to give you an example of, of one of them. I'm running an IPv6 wireless network in my house. It's used to instrument every room, and every five minutes it collects temperature and humidity uh, information and light levels and that gets recorded every five minutes for every room in the house. My motivation for installing this, but it's a commercial product. This one happens to come from a company called Artrock uh, in the Bay Area. There's a, another company called Crossbow which makes similar kinds of equipment. So these are becoming commercially available. This is not a, a science project in the garage or anything. This is, is real uh, uh, commercial quality stuff. Part of my motivation for putting this uh, thing together was to have a year's worth of data about the heating and cooling in the house. So that at the end of the year, I could go over this with the building engineer and talk about whether the heating and cooling system had done its job well. Did I get reasonably uniform uh, cooling or reasonably uniform heating or not? And if not, then you know what changes should be made to uh, the way the system was working. But there is one room in the house which is particularly sensitive. It's the wine cellar. And this needs to be kept below 60 degrees Fahrenheit and preferably 60% humidity so the corks don't dry out. Uh, so that one has been alarmed. And if the temperature goes above 60 degrees, I get an SMS on my mobile saying, you know, that the, we breached the 60 degree mark. This actually happened to me when I was uh, visiting Argonne National Laboratory last year. Just as I was walking into the building for a three day stay, my mobile went off. It was the wine cellar calling. Yeah, your wine is just uh, heated up beyond 60 degrees and every five minutes for the next three days I got this little warning saying your wine is warming up. Unfortunately, my wife was away on a holiday and so she couldn't go and, and repower the cooling system. By the time I did get home, the wine had gotten up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not the end of the world, you know, but it wasn't good news either. So I uh, called the Arch Rock guys and they said, hey, do you guys make actuators as well as sensors? And the answer was yes. So one of the projects is to install the actuator so I can remotely turn the cooling system back on again uh, while I'm away. Uh, now that obviously has to be access controlled because I don't want the 15-year-old next door to turn my cooling system off while I'm away. You know, I don't need that kind of help. Um, uh, so I thought, well, you know, there's other information that I can get from observing the data that's being collected from the wine cellar. For example, if somebody goes in and turns the lights on, I can actually detect that because the changing light level should, should be signaled. Um, so I thought, well, maybe that would warn me if someone had gotten in there and what, that I hadn't anticipated. But uh, I, you know, it doesn't tell me anything about when the, whether any wine had left the wine cellar without my permission. So the next step is to put RFID chips on all the wine bottles. And that way, you know, I'll be able to do instant inventory to determine whether the wine is still where it should be. Of course, someone pointed out to me that you could go into the wine cellar and drink the bottle and then leave it there, and so you wouldn't be able to detect, you know, that it, anybody. So now I need to put sensors in the corks to determine, you know, whether there's any wine left. And as long as I'm going to that much trouble, I should put some kind of analysis in there so that I can look at the esters that are developing in the wine to determine whether or not the wine is ready to drink. And then before you open the wine bottle, you interrogate the cork. And if it turns out that's the bottle that got to 90 degrees because the cooling system went off, that's the bottle you give to somebody who doesn't know the difference. Right? So it's a very helpful uh, mechanism.